Smart Club has to know exactly what product it's setting up. It needs to understand all the parameters of how much travel, air volumes, in order for it to do the math and determine uh, sag and rebound and other things. Um, so there's a QR code on the product. And then uh, scans that in. You can scan this for the rear shock, it's easier. So now the processor knows exactly what, what product they have. So then basically you open up all the damping wide open. So rebound, max and fast, low speed compression all the way to the soft position, lockout off. So next step, attach the smart pump to the floor. So now it's getting the unloaded reading on the bike. Now it's telling me to go ahead and get on the bike and get our initial sag reading. saying our actual sag is 48%, our target sag is 25, so that's way too much sag. So it's telling me I have 28 PSI in the fork, and it's asking me to put it at 41, and then retest. No, I get it, okay, so I get it, I get it. So now we'll go to the smart pump. Right. Now he's going to hit retest. Much closer, we're at 28. And now it's fine tuning once again, and now it's saying 43. So you can also set different target sags. So you can touch the screen, and if you want 20%, which would be maybe more of a like a cross country type setting, you could adjust your target sag. Mm -hmm. So we're we're happy with that. So we're going to move on from SAG and then the next step will be setting rebound. So, so it's asking you to close the rebound and open at 10. This is your effective tuning range for rebound. Mm -hmm. Rebound is kind of subjective. Everyone likes different things, so there's no perfect answer or right answer. But this de generally gets you into where you should be within a couple clicks, faster or slower. So there it is. There's your rebound setup. And then the same same program happens for the rear shock. It's exactly the same way you adjust. So then by the time you're done with the back, you have 25% sag front and rear, and then both of your rebounds are set to the same speed. So because of that, the whole chassis is very balanced. So it's reacting at the same speeds to input from the trail, or when you're exiting a corner, the bike is gonna come out of it really even, and uh, definitely enhances the control and uh, overall performance of the bike.